seriously, where are my taxpayer dollars going if my kid's kindergarten teacher has to buy her own supplies, ask us for donations, but somehow we have fancy business districts coming up in the same areas where public schools are struggling. Theconversation.com did an investigation into 10,300 city budgets and whoa, I got two words for you, tax abatements. It's a giveaway that cities do to attract economic development, but it ends up being that corporations don't have to pay property tax. But who needs the money that comes from these property taxes? Public schools. I'm paying higher property taxes for a good school district, but that's not where the money is going. Kansas City, Missouri, $1,700 per student diverted from public schools. In East Baton Rouge, that means a third grade classroom doesn't have a playground. They do have a cement slab for recess, but ExxonMobil has received nearly $600 million in tax abatements. Atlanta public schools have a teacher shortage, students without housing, but somehow the city is giving nearly $100 million of tax abatements to corporations. But here's the kicker. The majority of these corporations will tell you they would have picked these locations anyway, even without these special tax breaks. Same thing is going on around the country, probably where you live. So to find out more, go to theconversation.com.